first things first, Mo, my what guy. Up, what up? Let's talk. What is your definition of a quarterback? My definition of a quarterback. Well, you know I ain't Webster like you. So, <laughs> but I'm going to give you my definition. Number one, got to be a leader. And you can't be you can't be coached that. You can't be taught that. It's either within you or it's not. Mm. Number mm-hmm. two, you got to be able to pass the football. That's not even a joke. You got to be able to pass the football. And you got to be able to pass it well. Same way they were talking about having point guards who just – find ways to get get that ball, even if there's no space, see the passing lanes before they develop, all that stuff. That same thing is applicable to the quarterback position. So it's not about being accurate. It's about putting it where it needs to be. It's about throwing guys open. So I need somebody who, who when he says, hey, football, go there, it goes there 70%, 80% of the time. And the great ones, the elite of the elite, they even do that on a higher margin, okay? So number number leadership, Accuracy and number three, I'm gonna just keep it real basic. And number three, you gotta be able to check your emotions. You gotta know when to get high, when to get low. You gotta just stay keel. No matter what it is, you gotta stay calm under pressure. And I think the two greatest examples of that, ironically, are the two quarterbacks who have the most Super Bowl rings. Joe Montana has that great story of pointing out uh Uncle Buck, I don't even remember his real name. John and, Candy. Yeah. yeah, John Candy. Yeah, he put him out in the stands. And then and then number two, 12, less, who is the, the standard of the quarterback position, and just 28-3, 24-0 versus Denver. I mean, you name it, his poise, his demeanor always stayed the same. So you, you gotta be calm in chaos chaos to when you're when you're the general of really 53 men. That's that's as basic as I can say it. Well, you said everything that needs to be said there. I'll add two things. The two other things that I look for in my quarterback is I look for consistency. Mm -hmm. That is the most important position on the football field that has to be consistent. Mm -hmm. If the quarterback is not consistent, it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. If I can't consistently trust my quarterback to understand what's happening snap to snap, how a team is trying to attack us, then – we, we may as well just go ahead and just just get just get out of here today because mm-hmm. it, it just ain't gonna happen but another thing and and you didn't you say this one but this is part of one of my scouting points as well decision making right if you can't make sound decisions that is an issue decision making is very key in, in everything that we do in in life and in, in basketball if the point guard doesn't pass it to the guy that's open at coming off that curl and at the right time, at the right situation, the right motion, guess what happens? You get a ball, and guess what? We got to reset because right. the ball was cut. It's too late. So too late, behind you, in front of you, too much, all of that matters. So all of those things are tied into there. The quarterback should never be the best athlete on a, on a football team. Let me start right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. With that being said, if the quarterback <laughs> is your best athlete, we got other problems. Because you don't pay your quarterback to be an athlete. You pay him to cerebrally take over the game and make sure that he has always has the ability to bring the game back into whatever it is. After the defense comes off the field, after a bad possession, after a bad special teams play, whatever it may be, your quarterback is that guy that keeps composure at all times. So with that being said, Mo, my next thing I'm going to ask you. Quick question before we do this. Yes, sir. Just a quick statement, because I want to make sure that people don't get beside themselves with that statement, because I know how they can get with germ. Crank it. That doesn't mean that you're not an athlete at the quarterback. It just means you can't be the best athlete mm-hmm. at quarterback. It's a big difference. You... Pat Mahomes is extremely athletic, but that boy Tyreek Hill, this is another level of athleticism we are speaking Tyron of. Tyron Matthew, <laughs> Tyreek Hill. Uh, Travis Frank Kelsey Clark, that matter, got a little Travis, bit of, yeah. Travis Kelt, Trav, that's a dancing bear. As in the words of Trav, that's a dancing bear. <laughs> now, with that being said, I want to make sure we highlight that. And, and just to bring this in a little bit more, athleticism is is only a small part of what actual football even even has to be talked about. We don't talk a lot about athleticism because all positions have af- athletes at them. Aaron Donald is a crazy athlete. Ooh. Uh Calvin Johnson was a crazy athlete. 
who's six foot four, six foot five, running a four three forty, and then has a forty inch vertical leap? Hey. That is equivalent to what DK Metcalf. What, I'm gonna give you one, Jerm. Go ahead. I'm gonna give you one. Vince Wilford. That's an athlete. Yes, three hundred and fifty plus pounds, and can move like nobody's business. So, uh, Jonathan Ogden, left tackle, Ooh. one of the best. When you talk about getting your get, sinking your hips, dropping your butt, pause, and and moving your feet, sliding the side to side, those are one of the best. Him and Orlando yeah. Pace, shout out Ohio State, big win yesterday. With that being said, yeah, you see how I did that, MJ. You like 